Howdy. I'm John Adams and this is my NASCAR iRacing.com Series World Championship NASCAR 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 Woo 3 Wide Dover Review. Well, I reckon I'll start off with this. As you're watching me, right now, on this camera right here, I'm not driving, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not driving, all right? Just want you to understand that, that I'm just commentating while I drove the race. I'm watching the replay, recording it, while I'm talking to y'all. Just want you to understand that, okay? Well, we're sitting on the grid right now, and I'm just sitting here waiting for everybody to hit the damn button that says grid, because apparently they don't know how. I should have keep up on voice chat told them, hit the goddamn grid button. All right, here we go. Everybody on grid. Now, before every race, while I'm sitting on the grid, I always get me a nice little pinch of grizzly. Grizzly natural, or grizzly straight. Or, as Richard has said, grizzly mint. Or, Ryan Rudy, grizzly wintergreen. We got all kind of dippers in our racing, so, you know, it's just, it's just a thing that people do. People smoke cigarettes, people dip, people drink coffee while racing, some people even drink beer, some kind of liquor, but we, or me, Ryan, Rich, and other people, we dip. So, we'll get a nice little pinch of dip in, and uh, I'll show you boys how it's done tonight out here on the track. Okay. Got a nice little pinch dip in. We're about to go green here, so uh, get ready for it. Uh, right now I'm facing hot tamales and alpine stars and razor mouses and razor whatever the hell they make. He ain't sponsored by them, so don't worry about it. Alright, here we go. Green flag. Green, 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 green. Tim Terry and them cross up in the booth, man. They going crazy right now on this green flag. All right, I got Carson McClellan on my high side right now, and he ain't letting off the gas. He needs to be letting off the gas to let me slide in. Okay, see right there? He let off. He read my mind while I was driving. Thanks, Carson. I appreciate it, bud. Now let me see if I can run down this ass kicker and this Alpine Stars motherfucker and see if I can get up there and get the lead. I know I can, because they ain't no good like me. Like, you know, I'm... Shit, I'm the best one out here, you know. I'm gonna win the championship this year, even though I'm behind 200 something points. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna win the championship. Y'all gonna see me on the stage in Homestead. So we'll just see how this race goes. And uh, yeah, okay, we're working lap 11 right now. Yes, and as you can see, Kevin King and Patrick Baldwin, they done pulled me because I don't have a good long run setup like they do. But uh, I got Ray Alfala behind me. I think he's gonna stay back there. But uh, I don't know. Ray's good. Sometimes he's good. Sometimes he sucks ass. So I don't know. Oh, 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 oh shit! I'm getting loose. Damn it! Here comes the fucking champion. God. All right, here he goes. Well, I had to let the champion go because if you don't let the champion go, then you're just a pretty much of a dick. So I let my good buddy Ray get in front of me. I don't know why, but I should have blocked his ass to be honest with you. Because if I would have blocked him, it probably would have worked out better for me and him. Cause I got stuck behind his ass. All right, well, you know, we don't have one of them dango yellow flags flying. Uh, I went in the pits. I went in fourth and came out third, so that's pretty good. Now I'm running second place. But uh, I don't know, man. Pax, he's, he's on a rail tonight. I mean, he's, he's got something figured out. Oh, I got a little loose there. The bag on. Oh, here comes John Grilinski. Man, this ain't good. Losing spot. I'll, I, I guess I'll let him go. Oh, come on, man. Don't. I'll, I, I'll let you go, don't slam on the fucking brakes in front of me and this shit. Fucking degree for me, you need to put on some more goddamn deodorant. I can fucking see all the sweat pouring out of the goddamn car because you're trying to pass me and you like, couldn't get around me. But you did because I got loose. That's the only reason why you got around me, so remember that. So I guess I'll just, uh, I, I'll try and get you back. We'll see. Alright, man, I'm all over your ass right now. I got fucking Ray looking to pass behind me, man. This ain't, this ain't good. Stop fucking slowing down in front of me, man. You're, God damn it. Here, here comes this motherfucker again. I was, I'm gonna hold this fucking ass up just because he's low of me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hold you up, Ray. I'm holding you up right now. Oh, oh shit, I'm about to get tired. God damn it. You motherfucker. I right, get back to you. I'm dumping your shit. Krogi Sultan. What the hell is that? 
no one cares what that is. But uh, I'm gonna come back for you, so, uh, and you know exactly what I do. The whole entire, this whole entire run, Ray knows what's up. I got drive-in entry and center. He don't have that, but he's got drive off, and I don't. So I can't pass him, because I can't get a run on his ass down the fucking straightaway. As you see right here, he's got that drive off. If I had that shit, I probably would have fucking lapped everybody by now. But, you know, think, man, there ain't just a whole lot I can do. See, man, Ray, look at that, man. Ray's just, look, I'm trying to fucking bamf until his goddamn bamper falls off, but he's not letting me do it because he's got to drive off and I don't. See, I get, look, 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 ooh. I'm, man, I know Ray's mad right now. Ray is pissed off. He's like, what the fuck is that John Adams doing up under my ass like that? I wish we had Eric Loose. If we had Eric Loose, this goddamn ass would be in the fucking ball by now because I'm all over him. He, he got loose and his fucking right side monitor, his triple monitor mount would have fucking fell on the goddamn floor and all hell would have broke loose and he probably would have came up to Georgia and, you know, give me a hug or something because I'm racing with him, but. I don't know, you know, I don't know how Ray thinks while he's inside the car, but I know we ain't like Brian Schoenberg or Kurt Busch, so look at that. Come on, Ray, just, you know I'm faster. Injury to center. Just let me go. Just let me go. One last spot's one point. That ain't, that ain't a whole lot. Michael Conti's back there in like six right now. It's, it's all right. You can just let me pass. But no, he's not going to let me pass. Alright, one of them dang old cautions came by. I don't know what the hell it was for. Probably somebody self-spun or something like always or did something dumb. And why the hell is Michael J. Johnson pent with us? He ain't on the lead lap. He shouldn't be coming in the pits. Look, Pat's way up there somewhere and Michael J. Johnson's cutting off me, John, and Ray and everybody else behind us. So now I gotta have a badass pit stop to not lose 8,000 spots. Michael Johnson, you should have stayed out on the track. But you know what? I ain't mad. You know why I ain't mad? Because you'll see why I ain't mad. Here we go. Let me drive through Carson McClellan because we can in our racing. That's good. I mean, you know, that's cool. All right, we'll just jack up the right side right now. Pat's already got his up. And Pat's about to have it. Nope. He dropped his right side. Come on. Come on. Drop my left side. Drop my left side. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Ooh. First place. After all that shit I went through on pit road. I don't know how the hell it happened, but I think that's a record pit stop. 11.7 seconds. Man, I think that's a record for the cup car. I've never seen a stop faster than that. So thanks to my mud jug, portable spittoon, gsracing.net pit crew. They got the job done today on pit road, boys. Okay. Well, now I get to stare at the ass end of the pace car, which is a pretty view. But uh, I get the lead for right at 60 laps. It's the most laps I've led in a race in DFC, so that's pretty good. But there's about, you know, 19 or 20 cautions between that, so that's how I got 60 laps led. But we did have a few green runs. I think we had like a 9 or 10 lap run, so I led 9 or 10 laps on my own. And then I caught to come out, and I led four more, and four more, and four more, and four more. That added it all the way up to 60. And not, right now, there's a train going by my house, and probably here. Hopefully, that damn thing don't come through and bust in my room and knock over my computer and everything, because that would be a bad one. I won't be racing to Indianapolis, so we'll just let the train do its thing. Hopefully, it don't derail. But, uh, not a whole lot of excitement happens with me leading. I just lead for 60 laps, and as you see, I'm slowing down because it came out clutching it right now saving a little bit of fuel so uh yeah okay here we go we're coming to my 60th flat lead right now i think we're on lap around 110 120 somewhere around in there we've got landon harrison up here with a broke ass car thankfully he lets me go but i'm in a little bit of a bind right here as you see pat Bowen's under me and i gotta go three wide between these and then me and pat barely touch Man, I thought it was about to take me out, man. If he took me out, I would have drove back up under caution and slammed that ass. I would have slammed it. 
just to show them I was upset. But then I would have got suspended by Shannon Whitmore for about, uh, I won't say about, maybe two days, maybe three days. Somewhere around in there. That's, sounds about right. But, uh, then Pat just pulls away and Kevin pulls away. Kevin catches me and pulls away. And then I run third. Pat, him and Kevin have a little bit of an incident. Pat got loose, Kevin hit him. Not on purpose, just things like that happen. And broke his car. I'll show y'all my green flag pit stop here. All right, here we go. Typing P, 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 P right now, because I got a pit. I'm low on fuel. I got I to go in the pit and get some fuel and tires. I'm going in this time. Dialing in my brake bias. Here we go. I'm going to make sure I don't speed. Speed is going to ruin my race, and I don't need that to happen. Here we go. Whoop, get down 35. 10-4. We're in there. Second gear. Go all the way to my pit stop. and Give me the four fresh good years and... Uh, can of Sunoco, or two cans of Sunoco fuel and uh, might give me some of them dang old Tylenols there. I got a headache right now. I need one of them, but uh, we'll just get the fuel and tires for now. Okay, I have an all right pit stop. My teammate, I slipped past my stall, but my teammate Jason Carlidge back there, Carlavage, however it's pronounced, I don't really know, but I call him Carlidge. He gets beside me here out of the pit. You see him coming in my rear view right there. Right now he's beside me, there he goes. But uh, I got the inside line, the preferred line out of the pit. So he's gotta let me go or we're both gonna wreck and cause a big fucking wreck fast in turn one, everybody gonna pile into it. But uh, go out here on the track and uh, green all the way to the end. And uh, see there's Pat. But I pass him right back because his car is broke. But we go green all the way to the end. I get the second place and uh, that's where I finish. That's pretty much it. Not a whole lot of excitement this race. Hopefully Indianapolis next week or two weeks from now will be um, an exciting race and be more shit to talk about and more people to talk shit about.